I know that when I first uh, got out on my mission, uh, the mission president had a goal that uh, each missionary would baptize every transfer. Um, and that was that was the goal that was set, and I didn't really think that was possible. But at the beginning of my mission, I, I prayed and you know fasted that I'd be able to do that. Um, and at the first part of my mission, uh, we didn't necessarily baptize every transfer, uh, but towards the end, uh, we had strengthened our faith and figured out how to do missionary work in a way that we were baptizing about every two weeks. Um, which is which is pretty impressive and um you know the mission president he came out with some goals for us to meet he wanted us to teach 20 new lessons each week um and uh that seemed like a really really out there goal at first because we weren't even doing anything like close to that before he introduced that goal but uh, we had faith that we could make it and uh, we were able to actually teach that many lessons and meet the high goals that mission president had set for us uh, every week for the rest of the mission. Um, and so I, I'd noticed that some missionaries would say, you know, New England's a hard place to serve. Um, you shouldn't expect to have that many baptisms here. And those missionaries, well, guess what? They didn't have a lot of baptisms. And I don't think it was because of the area uh, or the place they're living in. I was just thinking it was because of their faith. Um, and so I noticed the missionaries that had a lot of faith and optimistic uh, attitude about the mission found a lot of success and they were really blessed. Uh, and so those who are serving there, if you've ever heard that it's a hard mission, well, uh, there's something else I want to tell you. The only hard area in the mission is in between your ears. So uh, as long as you can figure out uh, how to conquer that one, then you'll have a lot of success in this mission.